Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to create this cool text hovering effect using only HTML and CSS, no need of JavaScript. And I have already created this effect in three colors and you can keep whichever you like. So let's open the text editor. Alright, before moving any further, let's save the file as an HTML document. Then let's create a HTML tag and this autocomplete will show the tag. Hit enter. A basic HTML file will be created. Then let's quickly type the title. Then create a link for the external CSS file which we are going to use for styling. Alright then get inside the body tag and create a div. Let's call it container. This is going to be the basic container for the text. Then get inside and create a h1 tag. Let me just copy the text from the website. You can write any dummy text in here. We would want to create the hovering effect over this last two words. Let's create a A tag that is the link tag and let's call it highlight space black. Since we are creating the hovering effect in three colors, this is going to be the first one with black. Then inside the E tag, create a span tag and then let's paste the text inside the span tag. So this can be used for one hovering effect in the black color and let's just copy this entire H1 tag and paste it and just change the color. Let's say red and the last one as green. Alright, so this completes the HTML part and now let's create the style.css, create a new file. Let's first import the Google font that we are going to use. Alright, then let's save the file as a CSS file in the same place where we have saved the HTML file. So now let's open the HTML file in the browser. This is how our web page is looking right now without any styling. Then let's start with container. Let's change the background color to a little gray. Hash ed ed ed. This is the hex code for gray color. Then font color as 343434. Then display as flex. We are going to use flex properties. Then flex hyphen direction as column. Then align items as center this is going to align the items vertically in center then justify content as center this will align the content horizontally in the center then minimum height or min hyphen height as 98 vh vh is a relative length unit and 98 vh refers to 98 percent of the height of the viewport and viewport is the visible area of the browser. Let's style the h1 tag dot container h1 font family as bitter comma serif. This is the Google font. Then line height 
as 1.4 word spacing as 4 pixels and maximum width as 60 rem then margin hyphen bottom 3 rem looking pretty neat and clean now observe if we delete this property then all the contents are aligned in a single row and having flex direction as column makes the flex items to be aligned in different rows if we remove this align items then the text is aligned starting from the top left corner write text hyphen shadow this is for the hovering effect 0 1 pixels 0 white then dot container space dot highlight display as inline block then color as hash 343434 then transition color space 250 ms comma text hyphen shadow 250 ms text hyphen decoration as none this will remove the underline anyway let's refresh all right Position as relative, Z index as 0 because we want that hovering effect to be on top of the element or on top of the text. Then write dot container space dot highlight colon colon after this double colon after is a selector in CSS which inserts something after the content of each selected element so if you want to insert something in a selected element then we can use this selector and there is a content property which is used to define what content has to be inserted then write position as absolute because we want the content to be on top of the text and Z index as minus 1 then bottom minus 5 pixels left 50% hyphen webkit hyphen transform translate minus 50% and this transform property is a very interesting property in CSS it is used to apply a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional transformation to an element and this property can be used to rotate scale move or even skew the elements and this hyphen webkit is for browsers support for Google Chrome and Safari browsers content as empty string because we are not going to add any content we are just going to change the color of the text and have that hovering effect then width as 100% and height as 3 pixels so we want it to take the entire width of that highlight class and have a height of 3 pixel then let me just copy this selector and add dot black so we just have to add the name of the class to reference that particular class and add the background color property to change the color copy this entire block then change black to red paste it again change this black to dark green and the name of the class is green so we can now see the underline like dot 
container space dot highlight colon hover color as white because we want the font color to be white text hyphen shadow as zero one pixel zero black then copy this entire block and after hover add colon colon after then height as 105% and width as 105% now let's refresh and it is working now so if you like the video please hit like button and subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching